The University of Arkansas is part of a new discovery helping scientists understand how our earliest human ancestors adapted to changing environments. U of A anthropologists worked with an international team that uncovered 2.7 million year old stone tools in Kenya. We had a chance to speak with one of the researchers this week about what the findings show us about early humans. Our team found some really exciting, very old stone tools and lots of different teams find old stone tools. But the reason that these are so exciting is that our team found them in a place where we have a great fossil record. So some of the earliest and uh, best hominins come from there. Uh, so our early ancestors come from there. Um, as well as the fact that these are some of the oldest of this type of stone tools. So it's basically a really simple toolkit called the older one. Uh, that's kind of like a, like, basically they make sharp knives out of really um, basic rocks. And uh, so our very early ancestors do this, and they did this even during times of extreme climate change. A hominin is a fancy way of talking about our human ancestors. So it's one of the titles that we use that separates us from uh, our closest relatives, the chimpanzees. So it's uh, humans as well as all of the ancestors that came before us that separate us from chimps. So one part of our team are archeologists and so they're responsible for finding tools. Um, another part of the team, including me, are people who study the environment. And we were able to look at different uh, different things that tell us how the environment changed. And so what we did was we found these stone tools in places like rivers or when rivers cropped up. So we were able to show uh, that the environment was shifting as hominins were making tools from very wet to very dry and hot. And through it, humans were using these stone tools to do things like cut meat off of bones, and so we find things like cut mark bones on them. It's really exciting to be a part of this, this team effort. I know that the things that I do, I think are really exciting, but I can't tell the kinds of stories that we're telling about human evolution uh, without having all of these different pieces of evidence that come together from different people like archaeologists and paleoecologists and geologists who study the landscapes and landscape change. It's really exciting to be able to work with all of those people because we are able to connect the dots in a way that we wouldn't be able to do on our own.